What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you guys the API 550A and the API 550B. Um, this is just going to be like a, a quick overview before you, you, know, you even buy into it or before you even open it up. So you can get familiar with it and how it works before. The 550A is, uh, the difference is this one's a three band parametric equalizer with five fixed cutoff points per band. And the API 550B is a four band parametric equalizer with seven fixed cutoff points, as you can see here on the blue, the differences. And you know, it comes with the meters um, and a couple other cool features too, like analog and also phase shifting. So let's get right into it here. We're going to work with the 550A. So I like to use the 550A for like a more broad kind of equalizer and the 550B for a more precise and surgical equalizer. So I got a little clip going on here right now. You know, something just chill, something groovy. And we're just going to go into it. So the awesome thing about this when you approach it is you would approach it differently than a normal EQ uh, since it, it features proportional Q which uh, intuitively widens the filter bandwidth as you increase the gain. So it, it retains its musicality and, and usefulness. So you can't go wrong with this. It sounds very smooth, natural, and musical even at most extreme settings. So with this sound, I noticed it's pretty it's pretty heavy on the low end, especially in the region where the bass is. So what we could do, we could cut off 100 hertz and boost some of those highs, kind of give it, you know, a, a little sparkle. Let's play around with this. about this plugin is the high and low frequency ranges are individually selectable as either peaking or shelving as you can see right here so you could tell it what you want it to do and you have a bandpass filter that's independent of both of them what I really like about this is this plugin right here is that you can click this button and it'll automatically set your gain at unity for you do your makeup game. I like to just click it a couple times and see where it, it averages, which is just about right here. As you can see, it's not peaking. These meters are very helpful. So let's do an A-B comparison. You can even, you can even push this plug in. And it still sounds good. You're doing 12 dB of gain here, you know? I don't normally do that, but it's, it still sounds good. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of this plugin. It's very versatile, very useful. Uh, I really like to just toss it in on something, just to do a real quick uh, tune up. And so that's it, that's what I got for you. Uh, next one we'll be talking about is the 560.